Welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again and we are going for a new run with Eve this time around. We're making our ways through people. We're building our streak. Eve is the first character of which is a bit spooky. Um, I will take the risk straight away of using the razor blade. Why the hell wouldn't I? Just for that absolutely amazing damage. And honestly, Fettered Heart as the first item. Gotta admit. That's a pretty baller move right there, game. Fettered Heart is really, really good, um, as you just saw there, for that reason and that reason alone. Sometimes you can just kill everything in one fell swoop. Uh, I'm not going to use the Sun card here until I get a bomb. I'm not very happy about this situation, but a two-hit kill on these guys makes it a lot more agreeable. But yeah, Sun card, I don't think I'm going to bother using on this floor. Um, but yeah, basically, as you can see, when you've got a Fettered Heart, Fettered enemies deal damage to every other enemy in the room. Um, I think it's like... 20% of the damage you deal or something. I don't know if it's an exact figure or, or what, but it's a certain percentage. We've got a few fettered enemies in here. Try and kill those first and that'll kill everything else. There's a, uh, like a, I think it's like a, seems to be about a 10% chance for an enemy to be fettered. Something like that. It's not a crazy high chance. It's not a crazy low chance either. Um, nice one. It's super useful though. And I really like the effect that it has too. The like stomping effect it does in the whole room. It's really good. Uh, but yeah, basically here, if we get hit, we use the sun card to um, save ourselves. But getting hit is completely, completely impossible. It will never happen to us. I would never. Now, we've just got to be careful of this guy doing his try shot. Because the try shot will hit me, because it, it's spectral and stuff. It's after he does this, I think. No? Okay, he's not doing the try shot right now, which is scaring me, because... He might do it any minute and it'll scare me, but got lucky. Uh, we will take this. This is pretty good. Um, it's a damage down for now. Speed up and look down. Look down, whatever. Um, and we will go to the next floor straight away, I think. Yeah, let's just go straight to the next floor. What we what we're looking at progression-wise here? We could just do Dark Path. Dark Path Mega Satan is a, is a pretty good path for us here. Um... We'll go into this bigger room here, and we'll uh, pop this. How come I was on... Uh, I was like, how come I was on 7 damage before? But it's because of Razor Blade, isn't it? Um, pop this. Yes. Go in here and do that. Yeah, Razor Blade gives the damage up, that's why. Good, good. And then come back in here and grab that for the Devil Deal protection. We'll definitely go Devil Deal here to try and get rid of one Red Heart. We get Photon as well, hell yes. Not only is that a damage up, which works well with Suppository, but it's just a really good item in general. Um, really, really nice stuff. I like to see it. I love to see it. I want some more of it. That's not how that goes, but there you go. But yeah, I really like Photon. It's a really cool synergy item. It's just a really fun item in general. Um, it's kind of like a, a sort of slightly wackier technology, um, or potential to be slightly wackier technology. Um, which is kind of nice. And, of course, just the good damage in infinite range. Certainly, uh, certainly is good for us. I think we can, we can do this, right? If we do this, and then... Ah, oh, bugger. Those red hearts are not where I thought they'd be. Okay, I might have messed this up slightly. It's fine. Um, boom, bow. Okay, I've got a bomb now. I'm gonna do this. It's worth it. Right. Bomb this. Grab this. Come over here, grab this, and then do that. And then I got the extra soul heart. You see? You see how I think? Now hitting the fettered enemies here would be ideal because it'll kill all the little spiders. Or most of the little spiders, should I say. And it actually did. It did a really good job of killing the vast majority apart from this fella right here. Right, good. Secret room, unfortunately, wasn't something to write home about, but... It is what it is. Ask the question of the day today. Hmm. Hmm. What's what's an invention? That, that's something that's not sort of typical that you definitely couldn't live without. What's something that like, I don't mean like, oh, I couldn't live without the internet or a computer. I mean like, what's something a bit more like niche? Like something that's like really kind of most people wouldn't consider, but you would. Right. Uh, this is slightly risky, but I think I've got it. A 
Hey yo! Wasn't expecting that, but I'm happy for it. I will take the brimstone bombs. Not that I really want brimstone bombs, but it costs a red heart. I don't I won't say I don't want brimstone bombs, but they're not what I was looking for. I mean, extra soul heart here as well is pretty awesome. Good, good. I like having the razor blade for those sort of reasons. It's pretty nice. Very glad I went to that um, secret room. Not not that like the devil deal teleport was at all necessary. Um, I think we would have been fine without it, but still. But yeah, now we're locked into our extra damage, which is lovely. Uh, we've got brimstone bombs to boot as well. Managed to kill everything. Um, shop is certainly potentially viable here. What we need now with this is um, herming. I don't know how herming works with this, but it'd be fun. It would be fun. But yeah, like, one, one of the things for me that, like, I... I, I it's not, I wouldn't even say it's a can't live without. I need to think of a good one for can't live without, because this one isn't can't live without. This is one that I just don't want to live without. It's like a toasty maker. Like the best thing ever. Right, we'll go in here and quickly check out what's on sale. Converts pickups into burn orbitals. Spawn one burn orbital on use. Um, Not that good. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Like panini press sort of thing. That, they're the best. If they didn't exist, I'd cry, like constantly. I'd never not be crying. I use those so often. Although not, not so much at the minute because I'm on a diet, but <laughs> when I'm not dieting, I use those all the goddamn time. That's beautiful, that is. Brimstone bombs did as well. Mr. Dolly's really good here for us as well. We get another soul heart. I mean, we might as well take the red heart. It's no harm to us. Uh, and we'll keep on going. I think so far as an Eve run, this is this is going pretty well. Pretty well. I'm I'm just looking for um, more fire right now. I know I just got fire rates. I'm a bit of a, a greedy fucker, but I want more. All right, let's move this over. I'll open both these chests as well. We're likely to get a key out of one of these four chests. Ooh, hell yeah. So not only did we get um, Notched Axe, but we also got Lump of Coal, which I think does work. But Notched Axe is real good. I, I think Notched Axe is a top tier active item. Yeah, I, I don't know how Lump of Coal will work, but I think it will work. Because a tier de te technically does still travel. I think it will still increase our damage over range, which is good. Right, sadly nothing there. Hey, there's the keys we were looking for, baby. Uh, but now we have this to just check for secret rooms everywhere. I love the fact that it doesn't use any charge to um, to check if it's not a secret room sort of thing. Chance to spot a fragile Bobby on picking up a coin. That's pretty decent. We'll take that. Good old egg penny. But yeah, now it means all of our bombs can be used for... Um, Brimstone bombing, which is pretty goddamn good. Yeah, I think I can. I think I'm definitely, definitely noticing the extra damage that we've uh, that we've gained here from uh, lump of coal. See so what we've got going on in here. Um, I'll grab this just so we can get bookworm. Cost us a soul heart to get bookworm. I think that's a pretty decent price to pay. I'm not actually wanting to keep any of those, so I'll just set the books back down there. I, I, there are definitely times in which I, I would have taken a book there, but of the ones that were available, there wasn't really anything there that I was seeing as too amazing. Just wanted my bookworm and I'm out. Just wanted my bookworm and I'm out. Better boys here. I'm just checking wherever I can. I mean, not having mapping is making finding the secret room a little more troublesome than it has to be. Oh, fuck you. I hate those enemies so much. Even with the, the alert thing telling you where they're going to fall, my brain still can't. I still have a really, really hard time with those guys. We've lost a lot of HP here, unfortunately. This is looking first secret roomy to me. No? 
Okay, we are getting unlucky with the secret rooms right now. I'll I'll be honest, I don't know where the hell they are. Don't like the look of this room. Like the fact that that guy was fettered, that helps. Made that a lot easier. Spawn rate of red hearts by 20%. All heart pickups tend to black hearts. Increase the drop chance. I never knew this increased the drop chance of keys. I'll definitely take that. Hey, there's one secret room. Pretty good one as well. Quite a lot of moolah to work with now. Unsure how this is going to work, but I'm certainly willing to try it. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. Because it, ma it makes it way easier to hit every single one of the lasers. I really like that. That's cool. I'm down to clown with that. Ooh, Mother's Love is also amazing here. Do you not know what that is? And I don't even think it gave us a stat up, which is strange. Did it? I don't think it did. Mother's Love's supposed to give stat ups for every familiar you have. This guy's looking chunky. So I'm guessing this should just dance around us and deal periodic damage. Yeah, this is lovely. I'm liking this. That's pretty good too, although that does unfortunately... Loses quite a bit of damage. I didn't think about that, but we're locked into Devil Deal, so it's not it's not gone for long. Don't know where second secret room is, and honestly, without mapping, I just cannot be bothered to try. Let's just go down to the next floor. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate there with the red heart. I didn't think about the the fungus giving us the uh, extra heart there, so our damage is going to be quite heavily um, nerfed for a little bit here. But as you can clearly see. With this setup, it's not that big of an issue. We're still doing hella good damage with this setup. Good, good. Our kids. Um, oh, these guys count as familiars. That's funny. Um, probably better off this way, I think. Oh, no. I should have... I could have got rid of the red heart. I am a fool. Didn't even think about that. Immediately making bad decisions. Oh, that fire hit me, but it didn't deal damage. Not quite sure how that was plausible there, but I'll take it. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. You gotta check them all. Right. I did check this already, didn't I? Yep. Check them all. Gotta check them all just in case. Right. There's an enemy here that's fettered that isn't fettered for some reason. There's like a fettered symbol there, but no fettered enemy, so... Not quite... Oh, that, that, that's what it is. It's one of the enemies that's stuck underground. I see. Yeah, I thought that was secret room. Um, yeah. Money-wise, things are looking real good for us right now. We've been able to garner a hell of a lot of coin. God, I'm so annoyed I didn't use that blood donation machine. That, that was like a surefire way to make some good money and to get rid of my, uh, my current red heart situation. And I biffed it. I goddamn biffed it. Good. Second secret room is still, obviously, potential. Ooh, we got Stephen Floor. Item-wise, what's Stephen Floor looking like for us? Honestly, I don't think there's much point going to Stephen Floor. I think I'd rather just have the items than the trades. Although, we do have a lot of money. So, in that... And we do have ability to find secret room. In fact, I think it is worth it. I think it is worth it. Right. 
That just opens up the whole room for us nice. Small rock is lovely here. Wasn't expecting it, but I'm happy. Lots of extra damage and a little bit of fire rate, not a lot. That's free cash room entry. I like that too. I like free cash room entry. Other than the cash room entry, it's pretty useless, I think, but cash room entry is pretty good. That's good too. Um, I'll save the rest of my money for the next floor. Things can get a bit pricey. But that at half price is a steal. Right, let's quickly go and do our cash room. That's a devil deal teleport. Um, This is tricky because that would become a one room charge. With this current situation we have right now. But... Is my current active better? I'm gonna take this. I think I think this is better. And then do do I want Rotten Baby as well? I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on Rotten Baby. Oh, I ended just walked out at the wrong time there. My bad. Right, let's go do our boss. But yeah, this thing being a one room charge is pretty decent now. Pretty decent. And we got ourselves a HP up, in which case we very much can take Rotten Baby now. Thank you. That worked out pretty nicely. Okay, let's go to our thingy floor now. Also, actually, didn't even think about the fact we have Mother's Love. Rotten Baby is actually even better because it gives us an all stats up. I think that's pretty valuable. Right, what up? You look a little like my ex. Well, minus the dead bird. She sure was a demon in disguise. Get in here before I change my mind. Let's go. Nice little Stephen floor. But yeah, basically all rooms we want to start like that. I can't believe we've got that on a one room charge. That's so goddamn good. Oh, that was a little cheeky, I'd say, game. That was a little cheeky. Enemy was a bit close to the door for my liking. Against bosses. The only thing is, as you saw, it kind of travels quite far from your body to start with. Yeah, that was against bosses and ch bosses and champions. Okay. Basically, champions no longer have extra health. Mr. Dolly is unfortunately not one I'm willing to give up. I know your game, dude. I suppose I could bomb him to try and get something better. A different trade. Or pills. I might take pills at the minute. Oh, dude, I should use power pills to get in here. Although I can get in here anyway, so... Not like it's needed. Golden button. You don't see many golden buttons. Oh, replace all items with mystery gift rerolls and special fix drops are not affected. Well, that seems like a lot of fun. Okay, we're all out of button now. But this was good. That, that's a really good item. Secret room wise, where are we looking? Does that does that look secret roomy to you? Yes. Okay, we don't want to go in there yet though. We wanna search the floor first. Nope, okay. Careful of these little fellas. Extra keys. I haven't seen any black heart drops yet, I don't think. Which is a shame. Was expecting to see quite a lot of those. Nice, managed to snipe that guy. 46 pennies were really good on the money side of things.
You want my brimstone bombs? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give you my brimstone bombs. Yeah. Okay, that was worth it. So, because we, we can buy our brimstone bombs back, sort of thing, or hopefully. That was terrible. Absolutely awful usage of that there. Good, good. Rotten Babies are doing its thing. Good. Laser guy almost got me there. Oh, oh, nah. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get hit by that then. I got proper caught up on it. This thing on a one room charge is absolutely just so goddamn good. I love it. Oh, I see. Not particularly a difficult room, just a confusing room. Nice. We get ourselves this, which is HP up, which is not good, but we can... Oh, wait, this is... Damn it. Wait, actually, no, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I was like, this is bad, but I can technically just take this and then use it, can't I? Um, one extra life. Okay, that's decent enough, I guess. Decent enough, I guess. Okay, that's not such, such, such a bad room. It just looks a bit daunting. But actually, it ain't all that bad. You want my little death scythe thing? I'll be honest, my death scythe thing ain't all that good, so I've been willing to give it to you. I'll take that for now. I'll come back for you, item, if I remember, which I hopefully will. Fucking idiot! I used the mysterious gift in this room by accident. Oh, I forgot. I literally just put it down and instantly forgot. Instantly forgot that I'd literally just swapped out my active. That was goddamn so stupid. Idiotic boob face is what I am. So, you have some decent stuff in here. First of all, we pop that down. We get lanky mushroom. Not bad at all. We grab this. We pop that down. We get something terrible. <laughs> we buy back our brimstone bombs. And we buy a soul heart as well. Get us off this little fella. Okay. Could have had an extra secret room item there. My bad. I guess. It is what it is. Right. Let's go. Got scapula for no good reason. So no That's, that annoyed me that. I just... Instinct used my space bar. I'm sure it annoyed the hell out of all of you as well. That was a perfect throw, that was. Absolutely perfect. That was also pretty perfect. But yeah, we're gonna be getting a lot of mysterious gifts here. We want to be finding our secret rooms as soon as possible. We're doing that extra damage to champion enemies. They ain't even phasing us right now. Yeah, I don't really know how this item's a quality one. For 50% more damage to all bosses and all champions. That's like a, a quality three item in my books. Hey, there's a black heart finally. Resonance disc. Don't think that would work for us because of the, the, the thing that we've got going on right now with uh, Mysterious Gifts. 
Good. Extra bomb. Lovely. Right, where's our secret room at, potentially? Here, maybe? No. Just got to find out where that secret room might be. Ah, oh, that room's over already. I was like, oh my god, what's that? It's a mysterious gift, you fool. It's always a mysterious gift. Okay, so we've got two in there. Um, just got to find the secret room. Either or will do, doesn't matter which one. Killing all three of those in one hit was very satisfying. Should have waited a little bit until they were closer to use that. Come on now, die! Can't hit him. That was also terrible. Ooh, golden penny. This could be very lucrative. Not the greatest room for a golden penny, I'll admit, but I'll be happy about it nonetheless. It got us up to a second mysterious gift, so I'm happy about that. Oh, I didn't mean to buy that. My bad. Okay, there you go. It's all done. Right, um... Second secret room here, maybe? Yeah, that makes our life a lot easier. Would that re... Would this re-roll the webbing? I don't think it would. Uh, right. So buy that. Come in here. Pop it down. Nah. Chaos ain't it. Like, what would be the point in this item if we if we take chaos? Mini bombs. Lovely. Right, leave that there for now. A lot of backtracking and stuff here, but it, I think it's worth it. Oh, we don't have quite enough for that second thing. I, for I forgot we needed money for that, I'll be honest. Okay, I can bomb my donation machine if I need to. I'm excited. Soul heart gain a heart container at the start of every floor. That's also not great for us. I'm going to take it anyways. Bugger it. <laughs> um... Yeah, sorry, Donation Machine. I keep bullying you, but... I kind of didn't want to pick that up, because now I've got to double up, double back to the item room. Someone needs to add a mod in that lets you drop your active item. Right. Back we go. We're just looking for the, the creme de la creme secret room items. Although some of them we don't even have unlocked yet, so we're not going to get like any mega mushes or anything like that. We got fun guy. We only lost four damage there, that's not terrible. Right. We are good to go. We are very much good to go here. Sometimes my shots move really slow with Furton, I don't know why. I'm excited going off again. Ah, I didn't mean to throw that. That was my mistake. Okay, we've absolutely minced her up right now. That was very easy. And we're doing Dark Path, right? Yeah, Dark Path. Okay, down we go. Things are going pretty well here. Don't like the heartbeats those things do. It scurs me. If these guys are a little annoying with this fire rate. Overall, not a big problem, though. Good. And we got the same room again. Wow. 
I'm trying to pop that in here. Sadly, not what I wanted. So that is that two items we've had out of golden buttons now? People claim buttons are bad. People claim buttons are bad. Good, good. Unfortunately, our items that we've gotten from this mysterious gift thing so far haven't really been great. I mean, mini bombs is pretty good, but other than that... Do you seriously move that out of the way of the... Yeah, it did. How dare it? Damn it, no mysterious gift from him. That would have been nice. We're looking good on HP, though. HP is, is really, really good right now. We've definitely given up on Horror Babylon here, though. That's for sure. What's my little spiky block dude doing? Can you, like, get in there and kill some stuff for me? Ow, that was a bad hit. Beautiful. Yeah, this thing on a one-room charge is real goddamn good. I can't believe... I haven't had this before. It's so nice. Throw it diagonally there. I didn't even know you could do that. My bad on that throw. That was a bit terrible. I'm hoping this is the right way. It's nice, like, it, it seems to travel and stop, like, just the right distance to hit most things in a regular sized room. Now, this is unfortunately a boss I hate, but we demolished him, so it's okay. And this will just use in the Devil Deal. Honestly, just pop them all in the Devil Deal. Ah, we got the poop finally. Not bad stuff there, though. Not bad stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, when you're using the Mysterious Gift, there is a really small chance you can get poop and a slightly higher chance you can get Lump of Coal. Lump of Coal is fine, though, because Lump of Coal is actually good. Although we already have it, so it would be a bit of a waste for us to get it. But poop, obviously, is just terrible. Soul of Blue Baby isn't one you see very often. And it's kind of good that you don't see it often because it's kind of trash. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Tech pin. Ooh, there's another black heart. Thank you, Demon's Tail. Right, boss was a pretty quick. Again, I completely whiffed that there. I love this with Monstro as long. It just does so much damage in one burst. Stay behind my spiky block. Spiky block's doing a good job. So it's nice that gets a recharge on hit as well. But get me now, I don't really think does much for us. Brimstone, however, we, we just keep on getting, apparently. Oh, dude. That's fucking cool. I did not expect that to work together like it does. Um, I'm just going to do Hush here because I can. I've already done Delirium, but Hush just seems like a fun idea with this synergy we've just got because this seems batshit crazy. Um, there isn't a secret room here, is there? So this is kind of a weird one. I guess we just pop them all here. Lots of bomb-related stuff, which works well with mini-bombs, I guess. That's another familiar as well, so that gives us some stat upgrades. Not terrible, not terrible. Right, let's do it. I'm I'm liking this, like... Oh, wait. It's made our, like, accuracy fucking awful, though, for some reason? Maybe that's, like, a necessary downgrade to make it not super overpowered, but it seems weird. But it is doing really good damage, though, so... Even with the slight inaccuracies, it seems really good. And obviously the inaccuracies won't matter as much here either. 
Oh god, all of these are mini bombs too. Didn't expect that. That's a lot of the floor gone. I just wanted this pad for the extra stats. That's all I wanted. Look at that, that's awesome. Sadly, isn't going quite as fast as I would have hoped, but I can use mini bombs here and there. Try to be careful about how much real estate I'm removing. The whirling sack thing seems to synergize with the mini bombs. Like, the, the explosion it creates is huge. I really like the fact that the way this synergizes with uh, Brimstone. A lot better than the way technology uh, works with Brimstone, so... Pretty happy about that. There's some fettered boys over there. I tried I tried to, to fire that bomb away, but it didn't really work. It's just a shame that it's made me so inaccurate for some reason. And sometimes it seems to fire, like, less shots. And, um, wait, maybe I got conjoined and didn't notice? I don't think I did, though. Yeah, if all the shots were hitting more reliably, it'd be game over for you. Instead, we're just at Lag City for some reason. Oh, dude, stop being a pussy. Stop going underground. One of the worst things about this boss is how fucking often it goes underground. Don't care about his boss armor. I want to be able to actually shoot him. Well, this has been beautiful. Nice swift kill on this guy. There you go. Lovely, lovely. Now, how the fuck is this going to work? Okay, it fills in all the gaps after the fight. That is truly blessed. Down we go. I didn't think that was going to happen. I'm pretty sure that's part of reworked Monsters and Furs uh, mod. Because I'm, it does that the same thing with like red uh, poops. It makes them all into, black, uh, into regular brown poops. Yeah, I think Brimstone is cooler, but I think it has made us slightly weaker. Because we, we're just not hitting the same amount of shots as we were before. Like, this this enemy there definitely should have died in one hit there. It didn't. Golden Bombs is kind of intriguing. Golden Bombs is certainly intriguing. Range up does nothing for us, but thank you. Keep her going. I like the fact that it automatically fires the brimstones once it hits a wall or an enemy. It means you get quite a lot out of it. And it can still hit enemies even if it hits a wall like that look. I think overall it's pretty goddamn good. I can't really complain. Shouldn't be too far off the boss here either. <sighs> Bugger you. That hit me? Okay, fair enough. I'll accept that. You see, that's awesome. So goddamn cool. I have no idea what's going on in this room. Thank you, Blackheart, for solving that room for me, because I was very confused by everything that was going on. Good. Don't want Super Magnet, thank you. The Trinket, I don't think anyone's going to be taking on purpose. Right. Three, two, one. Three, two, and one. 
Such powerful bombs. We've, we've been having some gigabomb runs recently. We've been having some gigabomb runs. Beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Filling in, in the gaps. That's so nice. We were supposed to do Mega Satan, but Devil Deal. Devil Deal took focus. Ugh. <laughs> They're all mysterious gifts. Um, I guess if we find the secret room, then I can utilize those. I'll keep looking for it, I guess. But it might be a little hard to find. Is that a tinted rock? That looks tinted to me. It is not. Ops rotten head. No thank you. Some of these enemies, I still don't remember what they do. It's just, it's just like a race to kill them before they get a chance to do anything. Taking some bad hits right now. I feel like I've got it really close to enemies to hit all my shots. It does a lot of damage when I do, but it's a little tedious because it was so goddamn accurate before. Oh, dude, you move so quick. Dude, that guy's so fast. We're getting there. Still having lag issues again this run, as I did last run. I don't know what, what mod updated recently, but maybe I'll have to do a fresh reinstall of all my mods, because something ain't right. Oh wow, I just killed the whole room. Okay, in that situation, things worked out perfectly. Are those the rooms that I just want to Bomb and get it over with. Ah, sad. This room is hell. Luckily the bombs did, did a really good job of dealing with it all, so I didn't have to. Just use the bombs as much as possible, especially in these dark enemies, which are appearing goddamn everywhere. First chest. It's such an interesting quality for item idea. Just make every item mysterious gift, because it's like, it just basically lets you choose your item pool for the vast majority of your items, which is really interesting. Well, so far, I've put down two bombs and hit with neither. There you go. We got it. We're golden, baby. We're golden. And that's going to end off this run. I hope you guys did enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.